Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God keeps on keeping us over and over. He keeps in his, in his arm. He keeps us yes. just as, as a very thought in his mind. Just as a very thought. Yes. You'll never go too far where he can't reach you. God will always yes. leave the how many of them to come and get just you. Amen. Just the one who's in danger. If he got to leave the whole flock, he's leaving the whole flock. Mm -hmm. Just to come and make sure he came and picked you up. That's the kind of God we're serving. That's the kind yeah. of God that reminds me that no matter what it is that we're going through, this pandemic, whether we're, we have a job or don't have a job, whether we're in the best of health or not in the best of health, he's saying, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Amen. I'm going to keep on keeping you because I've kept you this far. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Next segment, please. I guess this is a time for the word. I'm not sure if someone was going to announce it. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Oh, oh, okay, okay. We're going to thank you. I you were finished. Good <laughs> <laughs> weather, show you a finish. I did I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> well, I'm sure you were finished, but we okay. thank God for praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lala, for the words. Amen. And Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a several more people came on. We all had the pleasure and the wonderful joy of saying good morning. There's a couple more people came on, and I would like for them to get an opportunity to say good morning because my message is on unity. So each and every one didn't have the time, uh, the pleasure to say good morning. Uh, me, myself, I noticed Joseph on, Sister Bradley, Deacon Miller, uh, everyone have joined. And we just going to take a, a couple of seconds and just say good morning to everybody. Good morning. 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 Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Deacon Miller. Where Thank are you? Deacon Miller, where are you? <laughs> okay. Yes, Santa. All right. We're going to go on with the word in the name of Jesus. Father, in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus, we come before you right now, Lord God. Thank you once again for this opportunity, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for your your movement, Lord God. Father God, as we get ready to go in your word, Lord God, Lord God, as I decrease, I ask you to increase right now, Father God, Lord God, let your words, Lord, come, come out my mouth. Father, you told me if I opened up my mouth, then you will speak, Father God. And Lord God, everything that will be said today, Lord God, is from you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Father. Father, I just thank you, Lord. I just glorify you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The topic of my sermon today, there is power in unity. And envy and strife and division have reduced the early Christ, Christian, uh, Christianity of uh, Christians back to the uh, natural and carnal state that they were and before they were born. And again, it had so stunted their spiritual growth that they couldn't understand the things the Apostle Paul wanted to teach them. Satan has sent the same spirit of division among us today. He knows that a house divided against itself will fail. And that's one thing I don't want to see happen to 3D. Man. We know 3D was birthed from God. And we men and women of God say we are here to help it to stand. And I don't want to see division come amongst 3D. Amen. 
But it is knocking at the door. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He also knows if we all come together in the unity of our faith, we will arrive at the full power of Christ. And that is Ephesians 4.13. That old slew foot know if we come together, there's nothing he can do to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But we have to stay on his name. Thank you, Lord. So he has assigned a spirit of division to a point in our church life and a Mm -hmm. Right so fast, y'all don't understand what to put here. So sorry about that. And our social life and our uh, family life. He his goal is to his goal is the same as it was in the Corinthians to bring envy, strife, and division and stunt our spiritual growth. Right now, I can't say he's he, he not stunting our growth right now. I see the growth of everybody in the spirit. Everybody is growing spiritually. He Amen. do not have Amen. no kind of hold on our spiritual growth. But Amen. He, he Amen. don't have, but we don't have to yield to that spirit. Yeah. Right. Don't, let the, don't let Satan stop your spiritual growth. Amen. By giving in to the spiritual spiritual of division. Amen. And that's what's yes. hunting us right now. Division. Hallelujah. Amen. Regardless of what you think or whatever, what you feel, division. Mm -hmm. And God didn't give me this message for nothing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's slowly kicking in and we have the opportunity right now to stop it before it get too far. That's true. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan for Satan um I mean we stand for unity in the body of Christ. Uh, do and do say nothing. I'm sorry I'm going too fast y'all. That's okay. I'm trying to write it. It's all right. In the body of Christ, do and say anything, everything. Okay. Do and say everything with a spirit of love. Thank you. Do and say everything with a spirit of love. Mm -hmm. My eyes getting crossed. Mm -hmm. Believe that the best for others. Mm -hmm. That's where they believe the best for others. We got to start believing the best for each and every one of us. Amen. 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 Everybody come on, want to go. But I, I got to believe the best for Sister Bradley. I got to believe the best for Sister Bradley. I got to believe the best. And then it, Sister Bradley got to believe the best for me and everybody. We, we all got to come on one accord. That's basically what right. all it comes down to. Amen. And pursue. And pursue with your fellow brothers and sisters mm -hmm. in Christ. Let's slow down. Okay. Pursue unity with your fellow brothers. Don't Holy Ghost, speak a little loud. I can't hear you. Okay. And others. They say pursue unity with your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Our unified power is something Satan can never touch. Amen. If we could become unified, Amen. if we become one in Christ, Satan can't stop us. He can't touch nothing we try to build. But if we Amen. don't close this little gap that's trying to come in, and the main thing right now is division. And if we don't stop this division right now, better speak it. 
and we got to we got to stop it right now. Why, right. why it has been it, it have been peaked out? I asked God why He had to give me the message, but I talked to someone yesterday, and I understand why He had to give me the message. Yeah, All right now. And so now there is a little. You, you may not see it, but uh. It was a couple of times God had me to stand back in the yard, and I had I just stood back in some things that I didn't like that I saw, but I can only go by and say. I mean, some people speak to some people, some people don't speak to some people. Come on now. Vision come in right there, and that's not, about that's happening right there in 3D. Oh, everybody, 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 everybody ain't loving everybody. If you Come say you're going to love somebody, love them and love them for real because God is wow. loving them for real. So why we can't love each other for real? Amen. So if you're going to continue to be a man and woman of God, we got to speak that thing, brother. You hit mute. You hit mute. <laughs> 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 Somebody call him. Sorry. I didn't know it went to mute. I apologize. Amen. No, Pastor Dobson hit mute. Come on, Lalita. Get off of mute, baby. I need to hear you. Amen, too. Pastor Dobson, you on mute. Pastor Dobson. Amen, Sister Bradley. Amen. Amen. Need to be a choir up in. Show enough, amen. Don't hit call. mute. There we go. All right. I don't know how that happened, but there ain't nothing but the devil. Go back. Go, go back. back. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you left. Let me go right. back to where I was. Yes, yes. go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. Go back. I in think I was where um, I said we was in the yard and God, God had me to do it. I didn't understand why I had to stay back. But uh, I stood back and I just wanted, and I mean, if I go up to some people, some people give you conversations. Oh, no, because I guess you don't have another choice but to get a conversation. But some are passed by like they don't see you. Some mm. other people don't, yeah. they, some other, you know, we, if we're going to say we're going to be together and we're going to be unified, we got to be unified and but each and every person. Amen. Yes. Talk about it. I agree. That one with that one, Ooh, we are word, all Lord. together. Come on now. Yes. This is not oh, just a Pastor Dawson thing. This is not just a, a Apostle thing or Pastor Jones oh. thing. Or, it's just mm -hmm. not a law thing. It's not just a sister common thing. This is an all thing. Come mm on. -hmm. I can't just Amen. love a pastor and don't, don't love nobody else. Come on Amen. now. I love love each and every person up on this, inside this video right now today. Amen. Amen. Stronger. I mean, we should be a people right now to where when people look at us, they should say there's something very unusual about them people. Amen. Mm -hmm. They should be able to look in our eyes. They should, should be able to hear our conversation. Oh my God, there's something different about you. Come mm -hmm. on. They should be able to see that mm -hmm. in them. We should be able to stand. We should be able to walk out in anywhere, and the and the light of and God should shine upon us. We love God. We yes. To have that unity among us today, and it have to start because God didn't give me this message for nothing. That's and right. It's needed. And I um I. I need some readers. Okay. What you need? All right. I need new yeah. translation. I need message. Okay. Let me, let me go get. Oh Lord, I'm gonna have to put it on mute for a what moment. What translation you need, uh, Pastor? New translation in the message. Yeah, new <laughs> translation in the message. And um. 
We're going to start with new translation first, and I need John 17, 21 through 23. All right. John 17. Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> um. To John 17, 21 through 23? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll, I'll read okay, the I'll, only translation for you. you. What's the one you read, Lala? Um, you want new translation for me or message? I don't know who's doing what. New translation and whoever going to do the message. Okay. All right. Um, new translation says, verse 21, I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one. See, I, that's what I was just saying earlier. We got to become one. Amen. When we become one and close that gap trying to come between us, mm -hmm. we got to become on one accord, y'all, and that's with everybody. Amen. I mean, Amen. what's wrong with someone? What's wrong with saying good morning to someone? What, what's wrong? Wrong with saying good evening, have a have a good day. Have I mean, a good day. Amen. I mean, just that that alone just do somebody some good. Who who you say? We all say every Sunday, "I love you, I love you, I love you." We got to show that love. Go Amen. ahead, Lola. Amen. Amen. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me. Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. I have given them the glory you gave me so that they may be one as we are one. I am in them and you are in me. May they experience such perfect unity that the world will know that you sent me and that you love them just as you love me. See, unity. Amen. People, just that word alone is telling you we need to come on one accord. And that power of love, that power of unity will grow in us. Amen. Amen. It was just said, hallelujah, in the word. Yes. Who's going to share the message from me? Let's see. Message. Um, okay. Um, I guess I'll do message. <laughs> um, from the message, it says, I'm praying not only for them, but also for those who will believe in me because of them and their witness about me. The goal is for all of them to become one heart and mind. One Just heart and mind one heart and mind how could we become one heart and mind when this one ain't caring about this one and when that one ain't caring about that one that one mm -hmm. people is reaching out wanting that love but you ignoring them come on everybody standing in one group amen. this group with this one here another way i'm trying not to use it, but it. amen you better say it we don't want click in 3D. Let the click stay. It ain't supposed to be, but let them stay in the other ministry. This ministry is a total different ministry. Amen. Amen. It is total, total different. Amen. You know it's different if you, I, I got people, God got people listening at me. Long as I ran from this here. Mm. We got to stand for one. We got to stand for one, one love. And that's God. And if you say you love God, then you got to love everybody in that ministry. Come on now. Amen. Amen. When we walk in them doors, uh, and we continue to have ministry up under that tent, good morning, sister. Good morning, brother. Good after I enjoyed you today. Y'all have a blessed day. Ouch. There's nothing wrong with saying good morning. There's nothing wrong with saying have a good day. There's nothing Amen. wrong with saying I love you. The Bible mm. says greet your brother and sister with a holy kiss. Mm. Yeah, that's the Bible. 
And we say we follow the Bible, and the Bible say greet them with the holy kiss. Yeah. But things are so messed up now until we can't do that because people feel like you being fresh with them. Mm. <laughs> so Let's now see. we got to do things in so many, in my, so many ways. You might well say we got to do things man way because we can't do things Christ way. Come on. Mm. Right. Because Lord. of the negativity, because of what people went through or going through, are they mind all jacked up, thinking wrong? Come uh, Oh, Jesus. Don't make me scream. Mm -hmm. Come Amen. On. We got to get up out this thinking, thinking, stinking, and, and if you're going to follow mm -hmm. Christ, follow him through the true heart and mind. Amen. Amen. And stop thinking negative of your brother and sister. Now, if there is something wrong, then talk to them. Come say it again. Amen. Amen. You it better again. speak it up in here, Pastor. Say it okay. again. Yes. Find out whatever yes, it Lord. is. You can't leave nobody yes. in the dark. God, this message Come is good. Now. Yes. In the military, yes. we, we stood for one. That's right. One fall, we had to go back and get them. Come, come on now. So if we're going to be uh, members of this ministry, we got to stand and stand for all. Thank you. Man, we have to. Just, like that, just like John 17, 21, and 23 said. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go to Psalms 133 and 1. What was it again, sir? Psalms 133 and 1. Which we both know that about how, how good it is for brothers to join together in unity. Okay, give me a moment to get there, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'll read the message if you I appreciate it. Perfect. Give me one moment to get them a little old now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lala, you can go in the um, uh, and I and NL version. Okay. Okay. So let me see a second. I ain't alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Psalms thirty three and one. One thirty three and one, yes, ma'am. Okay. How wonderful and pleasant it is when brothers live together in harmony. It don't, doesn't it feel good? You see, I, I feel good how everybody got on this video and saying good morning. It, that was a good feeling to see That's all cool. these guys' face. I normally and don't see good but morning. Amen. That was it, it was harmony. And we have to keep that going. And we got to show that when even when we in the midst of each other. Right now we can't be in the midst of each other, but when we're in the midst of each other, let's have that harmony or oh, how good it is for brothers to join. And it says brother, okay. but that's for women too. You ready? Yes. How wonderful, can you all hear me? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, because I hear a lot of static from the phone. How wonderful, how beautiful when brothers and sisters get along. Amen. 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 Wow, it is. <laughs> Everybody go to mute, please. I can't hear you, man, sir. Except for the reader. I didn't go to hear mute. You, sir. It's a lot of back feet. Yeah, everybody go to mute except put for your, the readers and myself. Put your microphones on mute. Oh, okay. Not except for you. the reader and, and not uh, you, Sister Bradley. Okay. All right, that I might said, help. So. How wonderful and how beautiful when brothers and sisters get along. See, message bring in the sister. Mm -hmm. New translation just said brothers. If I wouldn't have been preaching out of the message, then it, I bung in the sisters myself, but message bring in the sisters. So that means what? We got to become a one accord. That's what it's telling mm -hmm. me. 
We all got to become on one accord. We all got to have that harmony and, and, and enjoy each other in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to John 13, 35. John 13, 35. Uh, no, I'm sorry. That's John 13, 3. And wait, let, me, let me make sure. Yeah, it's 35, I believe it is. Okay. That's all right. We're walking together. Okay. <laughs> John 13, 35 says, Your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. You said earlier. It will prove to the world. People should be able to look at us and see something different in us. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Everybody except for the two readers and the pastor, put your phones on mute, please. Everybody but the two readers and the pastor. Everybody else on mute. Thank you. Uh, can you read that again? It made me lost my thought. Mm -hmm. um, your love for one another will prove to the world that you are my disciples. See, it will pr prove to the world. As I said earlier, people ought to be able to look into our eyes, listen to our conversation, Look at our mm -hmm. walk, our body mm -hmm. language, and know there is something usual about that person. Man, it's something. I want what that person has. That person Me. have a beautiful smile. That yeah. person got <laughs> love in their heart. That person is so sweet. That person yes, shows love. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's what the word is saying. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. We should be able to be able to stand that. But as I say, if we don't come on one accord in the ministry, then say gonna come. He he's he gonna, he gonna come and, and tell us up. Come sift us like we. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That we, we, we got to close that gap. It's not too big. Right now. Come on, Holy Ghost. A little bit we got, we got to close it. And Amen. we got to do it with each and every person. Not just with Pastor Joan, not with Apostle, not with me, not with Otis. And, not, and, and the other ones that get up and speak, you know. I mean, when, when you do get up and speak, you got to mean what you practice, what they like to say, practice what you preach. You better mm -hmm. say it. So search myself and ask God, Lord, is I'm mistreating anyone? Am I'm not loving okay. anyone? Come on. Ouch. This is a message where, once again, like I usually say, is to show search yourself. Yes, amen. I receive. Who you speaking to in the ministry? Who you don't, I mean, you feel like you don't like in the ministry. Because there's, to me, there should be nobody in there disliking anyone. Amen. We, we, we are small, we are strong, we are powerful, and there's no one should be disliking anyone for no reason. Amen. Amen. Everybody should be able to step up to each other. Good morning, my sister. Love you. Good afternoon, my brother. Love you. Have Amen. A blessed day. Have a blessed week. Love the hell out of me. Amen. Ah, hallelujah. Let's go to, oh, did we do the message in 35? Uh -uh. No, sir. Okay, it's let's a, do the message. It's kind of connected, but it says, okay. this is how everyone will recognize that you are my disciples when they see the love you have for each other. Come on. Amen. Come on. I went before the message, but that, that just all it is to it, because God mm -hmm. put it in my, this message in my heart way last month. I wonder, I wonder why a couple of times he had me standing away from uh -huh. 
look at everybody but not and now I understand mm -hmm. and he showed me some things like i say it's not a big gap but it's a small gap mm -hmm. <laughs> talk about it it's big amen and i would say it like this it needs to stop amen. yes sir before we get torn apart amen and the ministry start growing and have a we then we have spiritual uh uh the what that word I'm looking for stomp uh, uh stop or whatever disconnect uh, yes isms ism discord may I go home yes <laughs> hallelujah let's go to Proverbs uh 1921 all right proverbs 19 verse 21 says you can make many plans but the lord's purpose will prevail amen see god plan gonna prevail anyway you can be sitting around thinking what you want to think how you want to think about this person think about that person you mess around you're going to think so hard you're going to be moved <laughs> move in the wrong direction because you think you thinking right instead of thinking the way god wants you to think instead of doing the thing god tell you to do you want to do what you want to do he's going to go mm -hmm. on his book is going to go on you mm -hmm. going you go in the grave and his mess is still going on the mm -hmm. way he wanted to Mm -hmm. You want to hold that hatred in your heart. You want to hold that little tick in your heart, or you want to hold that little whatever in your heart. Come on. That train going to tell you goodbye. Okay. Hallelujah. Master, Amen. Please. Okay, it says, we humans keep brainstorming options and plans, but God's purpose prevails. Keep on brainstorming. <laughs> Keep on bringing, you're going to storm your weed right on out of Christ's life. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just as simple as that. You're just, just going to continue to just, just storm, storm over here, storm over there, and everybody else coming together in unity. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> then you're going to be wondering why. Because you want to do stuff your way. you brainstorming yourself out of Christ. you brainstorming mm. yourself out of love. You brainstorming yourself out of unity. Hallelujah. We need to get it together, y'all. Amen. I receive it. Hallelujah. Amen. And this message Out. really touched me to, 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 to continue to do right and, and, and love on, on, on people. Help me, Lord. Amen. And, and it's hard to try to connect with people when you have certain ways about yourself that i mean when when, when people go down there should be a connection there it's still a ministry to where if somebody went down man the whole church was knocking at the door if somebody oh, went down everybody now. was at the hospital yeah that's and true when I everybody i meant everybody it's true we should come together but now, here lately, when people get sick here lately, just a little phone, call, call so-and-so, call, barely get a call. That's true. Oh, my God, I'm a witness. That's mm -hmm. true. Barely get the call, less long as yeah. someone is him. Amen. It's true. Unity is seeing the sick. Unity is coming Thank to show you. the love. Oh, God, come on. That governance it helps people when they uh, down. It helps them. We got to come together. Amen. When somebody going to the hospital, we should be able to fill the hospital room until the hospital runs out of there. Amen. And that's <laughs> the way it used to be. Amen. Been in that, y'all. I've truly been in that. The hospital had, oh, 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 we, oh, it's too many, it's too many. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. to, uh, they had to send two or three in the room, but we stood there. Yeah. Amen. Until our time came. Yeah, I remember those days. 
Thank you, Jesus. We got to mm. come together. We Amen. need to show more love. Yeah. I should be able to pick up the phone when somebody go down. I don't care who it is, man, woman, whoever. That's I right. can call me pastor, me being a post being a I supposed to be able to pick up the phone and call anybody and everybody. Amen. It's true. It's true. Not just pastorship. Everybody should be able to call everybody and anybody. That's Amen. true. Sister, do you need anything? Brother, Come on, do you need anything? And it's yeah. up to you if you need it to open up your mouth and say you need it. Mm. Amen. If you don't need it, no, I don't need it. Well, I just thought to let you know I'm loving you and I'm thinking about you. Get well yeah. and I love you. Amen. It a long way. Amen. It's just simple as that. Message, please. Yes, sir. Um, we humans keep brainstorming. What? what did we change? Yeah, we in um, yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to Romans uh, 12, 12, 4, and 5. <laughs> I'm staying with me this morning to make me think something. Did you say Romans what? 12, 4, and 5. Okay, one moment, please. Romans 12. One moment, please. Amen. Okay, new translation. Romans 12 verses 4 and 5 says, Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so Amen. it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. See, we all belong to each other. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Those that do the work of the Lord are brothers and sisters. That's true. That's the word. That's the word. Yes, we all are one. We got different minds. We got different blends and everything, but we supposed to be one. One. Amen. One, one. One accord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Message. Message says, in this way, we are like the various parts of the human body. Each part is, it goes from four to six. So y'all let me know when it stop at five. Okay. In this way, we are like the victorious part of the human body. Each part gets its, uh, gets its meaning from the body as a whole, not the other way around. The body we're talking about is Christ's body of chosen people. See, you heard that one thing. I go back a little bit where it say we guess it as a whole. Um, okay, every part gets uh, every part its meaning from the body as a whole, not as the we, other way around. We can't get it the other way around. This one pulling here, this one pulling there, this one want to go to the south, this one want to go to the west, this one want to go to the east. We got to stand in the middle of that council with that, 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 that air set. And then we come together, then we get in the middle of that air, then we all can go to the east. Then we all can go to the west. Then we all can go to the south. Then we all can go to the north. But if we standing on, if one standing on, on the outside of that air, and one standing on the other side of the S on the on the, on the south and the east and everything, then we're gonna be just like that Congress. Stand standing all about pointing, everybody pointing in different directions. It's true. Mm -hmm. When we come in the I'll, middle of that S, then we I'll, can spin around together in that S and let's say let's go to the north and everybody going to the north. Mm-hmm. Get in the middle of that S, then we can turn around in the middle. Hey. Stop and to the south. Then everybody going to the south. Amen. But right now we got we got half going to the south and half half going to the west. Clicks. But it's still not that big of a gap yet. Let's come on, that down, down, brother. come on, I hear it. It's not that big of a gap yet. From what I see, it's not big, but it's there. 
Amen. In the middle of that compass, let's all get together in unity and spend in that compass together. And when it's time to go to the north, we all go to the north. When it's time Amen. to go to the south, we all go to the south. We can Amen. all go to the four corners of the world. Amen. 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 Let's go to Romans 12. 16 and 18. Okay. Said Romans 12, 16 through 18? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Okay. Live in harmony with, e with each other. Don't be too don't. proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people and don't think you know it all. <laughs> Never pay back evil with more evil. The Do boat. things in such a way that everyone can see you as honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. Come on. See, we need to live, learn to live. live. We can start right there in 3D. Mm -hmm. Start it right there in 3D and get that to come out of us when we get out into the world and first starting with our family members. Then second, Amen. spreading it all about. And don't be thinking you know it all, which I don't think nobody in the ministry thinking they know it all. I, I can't say that much. Amen. But there's still not enough unity. Amen. I feel the growth is there. Our love is there at a certain extent. I got, I got to say a certain extent because the unity, unity brings love and love Amen. brings right. unity. Amen. Talk about it. So I can't really say all the unity and the love is there, but our spiritual growth is there. Amen. Amen. Would I love me now? Hallelujah. Message, Amen. please. Okay. It's all together, sir. But all right. It, I'm going to start, if you don't mind, anyone can correct me. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends. No, hold, it, hold it, right there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes, Lord. Get a mouthful right there. Get a right there. Yeah. Right there, all by itself. That's where I was speaking on, right there, by itself. Thank you, Mr. Message. <laughs> Self-explanatory. Hallelujah. I don't even need much to say. I can't hear you, sir. Right there. And that what God is breaking, sir. Pastor Dobson. Oh man. You see the devil be playing right when he gets to the meat of it. Good Lord. <laughs> Pastor Dobson, you froze yes. up. Devil right now in the name of Jesus. Okay, there we go. I guess my voice, my voice must be making my phone jump off. Of, on oh, the that devil punch him in the eye. Come on, you said we got to get along with each I, other. I need to be in. I need to be in person to preach this one, but that, that got to. <laughs> huh? I it mean, said, okay, the devil. I mean, you, you said it says get along with everybody. And, yes. And don't be stuck up. And you told me and to don't stop. Don't be stuck up. Now okay. go, go, go. I hope this thing ain't jumping off again. I didn't talk loud. That oh, you hear me? Right, sir. I left off as get along with every, we eat, get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. And you said stop. Okay, stop. good. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to stop you there, sister, but let me talk a little bit softer because my voice keeps jumping mine off on mute. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, amen. Woo! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, we, we need to don't be stuck up with one another. You know, it's like mm. some people look at each other like, mm. Mm. You, you don't even know each other to and be stuck up okay. with somebody. Mm, How you don't be stuck up with somebody you don't really even know them. Talk right? about it. Woo! Talk you don't about even it. know them. And that's happening right there in 3D, yo. Mm. You better preach, Holy Ghost. Stop. 
I would oh say, please, it needs to stop so we can grow, y'all, so we can make a difference. Amen. We need to make a difference in the world. Look, just look at what's going on around us. And I can tell you like mm -hmm. this here. I can't, I won't necessarily say these people don't have Christ in their heart, but then again, who say they do? I don't know. But look at how them protesters coming together. Amen. Yeah. And they standing out there sharing their blood. Yeah. Some got yeah. literally hurt. Yeah. They blood. And there was no yeah. bound. You know, I mean, and and showing how much they care. Yeah. Why? And even down to the white folks was out there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if they can come together like that for what they are standing for, can't we come together like that for Christ? If you Amen. say you love your brother and your sister. Amen. If they can do that for, for all over the world and half mm -hmm. of them, we know half of them ain't got Christ, but I believe there's some Christian people out there too. That's right. Mm -hmm. I really want to believe that. But it's half true. of people, half of them don't have Christ, and we know it, yo. We know it. So if Amen. you agree with me with this look gap we got, we should be able to come together like them people and close this gap. Amen. Yes. Amen. Be able to love each other. Be able to speak to each other. And, and close this gap that God showed me what is going on. I receive I agree. it. I agree. Amen. I, I mean, everybody, I, everybody down to the baby, the last newborn baby, we got, we got one more coming, should be able to get a good morning, good afternoon. A, 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 a hug. We're gonna leave out the holy kiss, kiss, cause the Bible said it. But we're gonna, leave. but ain't nothing wrong with a hug. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Love the hell out of me. Come on. Okay. There's nothing wrong with it, cause that's that's Christ. Amen. Uh, mm -hmm. And let's come together better than what we are doing. Mm. Yeah. You have a problem, you shouldn't have to call the same person over and over and over again. There's more people in the church than just Pastor Jones. There's Amen. more people in the church than just uh, Apostle Jones. Amen. It's true. There's more in the church than just Sister Bradley. Sister Bradley sometimes gets a lot of calls too. Not me. <laughs> Used to. I see a lot of time they talk to you. <laughs> but there's more than just them three in the church. And <laughs> you know huh? be, be able to talk to each and every person. And if that person ain't got the answer for, we should be able to go out and find them. Yeah, I do. Amen. That's yeah, true. I do. Hallelujah. Amen. You want me to keep going, sir? Excuse me? I wasn't finished. You want me to keep going? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, left off on Don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. And uh, what does it say? Seven to 18. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've gotten it in you, Get along with everybody. Amen. Get along Respect. with everybody. Discover the beauty in everybody. Oh, I got the other part. Don't insist on getting in. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging. God said, okay, that's the other verse. I'm sorry. All right. They're together. It says, right. don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. Yep, we don't need to get try to get even with no nobody or no one. <laughs> but we need to learn to discover the beauty in each other. Right there yeah. in 3D. There's beauty in each and every person. Amen. It's true. I am beauty. Amen. There's, there's beauty in each and every person. There's beauty in the heart. There's beauty in the mind. 
We Amen. all are there to learn together. We are all there to love each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's go to First Corinthians 1 and 10. What chapter? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I said First Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. Verse 10. Okay. I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ, to live in harmony with each other. Let there be no division in the church, rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. What that tell you? Do I have to say any more? First Corinthians one. Do I have to say any more? What that tell you? Everything I said earlier. Mm -hmm. Starting from the beginning up to now, what it just said, everything I just said, read it again, please, new translation. I appeal to you, dear brothers and sisters, by the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ. Authority. That's God's authority. Amen. Okay. Go Let, ahead. Sorry, to live in harmony with each other. Let Amen. there be no division in the church. Rather no be of one division in the church. No division. Go ahead. Rather be of one mind, united in thought and purpose. Be one mind. We can be one mind. We can all be one mind. Hallelujah. Amen. And we just allow it to come True. and be obedient. Amen. The I Lord receive. tell us. I receive. Okay, method. She wasn't finished. No, that was it. That was it. United in thought and purpose. Yeah, I said it. Okay, sorry. I was writing. I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> I have a serious concern. This is the message. I have a serious concern to bring up with you. My friend, mm -hmm. my friend. Not, not, not to cut you off, but God said he have a serious concern. Uh -huh. That's why he had me to stand off that, that it actually happened twice. He said he have a serious concern. So please take this, hold it in your heart. I receive. Look, yo. And we got to do right. I have a serious concern, he say. Go ahead. I have a serious concern to bring up with you, my friends, using the authority of Jesus, our master. I'll put it as urgently as I can. You must get along with each other. You must learn to be considerate of each other. What's that word? Cultivating a life in common. Wow. Yeah, wow. I felt that too. That that that's self-explanatory, man. I shouldn't even have to come behind God's word. If you don't mind, sister, read that entire thing one more time so they can hear it and get into the spirit. Because I don't have nothing else to say about that. That's self-explanatory. I have a concern, a, a serious concern to bring up with you, my friends using the authority of Jesus, our master. I'll put it as urgently as I can. You must get along with each other. You must learn to be considerate of one another, cultivating a life in common. Hallelujah. All I can Amen. say about that, let's go to Philippians 2 and 2, and that'll be the last one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute, Lala. No, go ahead. I'm searching too. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Philippians 2, verse 2. Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. 
Once again, self-explanatory message. Yes, sir. It's kind of connected, so you have to tell me when to cut off, y'all. If you've gotten anything at all out of following Christ, if his love has made any difference in your life, if being in a community of the Spirit means anyone, uh, anyone to you, if you have a heart, if you care, then do me a favor. Agree with each other. Love each other. Be deep-spirited friends. Be deep-spirited friends. Amen. And nothing else or nothing less. Deep spiritual friends. This is what God looking from us. This is what I would love to see happen in 3D. I would love 3D to be that different ministry. As I said earlier, 3D was birthed to be a different ministry. 3D Amen. was birthed to be a ministry to show love. 3D was a ministry to be able to stand against anything that's not like God. Amen. Amen. We have the power. We have the love. We have it there, but we have to put it together, and we got to close that gap and close up that division that Satan trying to come, and we can put mm -hmm. our need on Satan, so and we can stop him, so we can be able to stand in unity and love. 3D would be on the map above all other ministry because 3D hey. is trying and striving to do right in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So we all need to stand together. We all need to come as one. We all need to close that gap and stand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I receive it. Now, and the reason I pray that I would be, if God ever stand me out and, and pull me to the side, I pray I would be able to see a difference in each and every person. Not just one, but each and every. And if you don't change, then you're just going to be left behind. Amen. Amen. Right. I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> Amen. Good word, Pastor Dobson. Amen. Amen. Good, Good word. word. Thank God. Thank God for that. Uh, I receive it all. Everybody receive it in their spirit. I receive it all. Amen. 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 That's self explanatory. You know, yes, the, the, the world look at the church, and if we can't get along, then they're going to look at how we get along with each other. You know, mm -hmm. and need each other. There's yep. no, there's no such thing as any big eyes or views in this ministry. I, matter of fact, I pray and I ask God if y'all remember way back in the beginning of this ministry that God would make me the most humblest person in the ministry. Mm -hmm. And in terms of that, I've I've learned to 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 to, to stand aside and let everybody use their gifts. Yeah. Use what God comes to do. I don't micromanage. You know, if God called you to do something, I, I, I'm going to nurture you, but I'm going to allow you to, to grow in your gifts. And I thank you, Pastor Dobson, for being obedient to the Holy Spirit that spoke to you because it, it you know, what, what he's doing is now he's not pointing the finger. The Holy Spirit is not pointing the finger. The Holy Spirit is saying, look, there, there is a gap. And right now we need to see the gap before the gap gets any bigger. Mm -hmm. Amen. And what Pastor, and what Pastor Dobson talked about to, to him was to go ahead and close that door right now. Amen. Close that door so it can't get any bigger. We can't afford to have anybody infiltrate. This 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 is a this is a military group. This is a this is a this is like a military group for the for the Holy Spirit. We have to be on one accord because we have a, a, a big assignment for a small church. And we have the anointing, and the love mm -hmm. is there, but we need to we need to be able to freely what's in us. We need to not have any concern in our sisters because we all love each other, but we have to learn how to express that love. Love is an action word. Love means mm -hmm. that you know I don't know you you love me unless you show me that you love me. You can have love in your heart for me. But I don't know that until you verbalize it. 
until you make it a, a verbalization, until you make it into something that's action, so that's something, something tangible that so I can experience. That's what Pastor Dobson is talking about today. You know, you can have love inside your heart, but love inside your heart is not doing anybody any good. You know, Amen. it's not until you express that love, just like what God did for us. God demonstrated his love for us. He demonstrated, that means love is action. You got to show Amen. action in your love. You know, you can say it, but words is just words unless you put it in action. Amen? Amen. So I thank you, Pastor Dobson, for the power of God to you. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that, that God will continually use you. Continue that you will continually grow in the spirit. Yes, I pray Lord. right now against any uh, negative backlash, yes. any negative influences, any, any mind battles, any Amen. struggles, any come up against you or your yes. household to try Amen. to hinder you, to try to make you talk bad about here Amen. today. We pray that Amen. God will in your spirit, Amen. that you will be comfortable with your spirit, we pray that God will continually cultivate the word inside of you. We pray that you will continually be learning of, of, of the word of God in your life. I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you allow God to take root in your life and to use you to bring him glory. I thank God that you did spirit and we and we all receive something because we, we can never get to the place where we think we know it all. As Amen. soon as we get to the place where we know it all then we become no good to god whatsoever Amen. so regardless of, regardless of where we think we are in the spirit we've got to always be receptive even if we don't feel that way to demonstrate it the word calls for self-examination amen you know, even if even if you are yourself, you know there may be something inside there that the holy spirit spoke to you about concerning your demonstration of love towards amen. maybe somebody else or towards, so we got to get to the place where we comfort level here, to where we comfortable with each other, to where we know each other, so that because this is we have to, we never know who may have to fight or pray for the other person. Yes, and we yes. wanted to be known that anybody call short at any time that they should be able to call anybody, and that person should be able to pray with them, should be able yep. to encourage them, and not just, you know, not just a surface type of encouragement. It's you true. Know, we got to be able to rely. And the thing is speaking. You know, sometimes people come in the midst, and, 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 and I've seen places where people would come in and they would not be greeted by anybody. And they will walk out and, mm -hmm. and, and they say, didn't express any love. You know, yeah. and then yeah. we all aren't strong all the time. There's yeah. nobody on, strong baby. all the time. You yeah. know, at times some of us are. Somebody I'm far weak, you know. Amen. We need that encouragement. We need that encouragement, and it yeah. don't have to always be for the people that we know, the people that we close to all the time. You know, that's right. We call to encourage each other, brothers and that's sisters. Right. We are brothers and sisters. We call to build each yeah. other up. There's no yeah. person all the time here in this ministry, because if you're strong all the time, then you, your 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 days are numbered because God coming back for you True. pretty soon. Hello. That means yeah. you've done it all that you can do. Amen. So I thank Amen. God for what God is taking this ministry. I thank God for the Holy Spirit that rests upon each and every one of you all. I thank God for y'all to, to, to have the, 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 the desire to serve God. And even though we can't be together, but we still fellowshipping via uh, this app. And I'm thankful for this app. You know, it's going to be a time when we can come together. But I thank y'all for being obedient. I thank y'all for just opening up your heart to receive the, the word from God today in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Pastor yes, Dobson. Yes. I thank the the praise, the prayer leaders this uh, today, Sister Z and, and, and Sister Bradley, Sister Lala. I thank y'all so much. Uh, I, I see we have some new people that came aboard this morning. My brother Zaheen. Somebody say Zaheen in the house. Zaheen in the house. And I see, <laughs> I see, I see my sister Lori somewhere. You know, but I thank God for y'all. That means he he have a desire. When you see a young man, 
take up yeah. his own uh, uh, phone and, and, and plug in and get to work. He have a desire. And the change is taking place in your life, Zaheen. And we see it. We see the change. And he's hungry for it. For 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 a young man to just for for a young man to just pick up the, the phone and just log in on his own. That's a desire for God. Amen. Yeah. And God Amen. see that and God's gonna reward. It. Amen. Yes, he is. I Amen. Sister Lori, thank you for being a part of us this morning. We pray that something that was said that uh moved inside your spirit this day we welcome you all the, the continually fellowship with us you know via zoom and via facebook live because i know this is going out on facebook live as well amen, amen. i want to thank you all for praying for Ashley jones as she went uh to tampa uh on, on and she spoke yesterday evening it was a good word you know she she ended up prophesying like always <laughs> you know, to somebody that needed to hear the word of God and the prophecy. And I thank y'all yeah. for that went with her to support yeah. her. And I thank y'all that couldn't go but stay here and pray. Yeah. Because every every little bit that you do helps out. Everything yeah. that you do that helps out. Whether or not you was there in physical, but you was there in spirit. And I thank y'all for y'all support. I thank y'all for just continually following us in this ministry because you all could have chose to follow anybody. But y'all chose to follow crazy old me and and and, and okay. crazy Lisa. So we we okay. sincerely thank y'all. They're still traveling, so we want to continue to keep them lifted up in their prayers. Some some uh, people are there traveling. She's traveling north to go spend some time uh, with our grand. We're gonna have a a, a a newly invited into the family, and she's going up to uh, to help out there. So continually pray for her. Always on assignment. Amen. Amen. Um, Sister Zena, I wanna, I'm going to call you up in a little while after this is over. Um, but I want to thank you all for just doing what you do. There's no, there's, no small, there's no small I use in this ministry. Everybody that's, that's called to do a job, and I'm going to cultivate, I'm going to pray for you. We're going to see more people on the front line. You know, there's going to be more people coming up to the front line uh, to do more things in the ministry. So we're gonna open up the door for them. I know Deacon Vince is he's 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 growing in the ministry. He's taking a, a a foothold with the men's group and he's become a leader in the ministry and he stepped up to the plate. Uh, uh, uh Minister Cooper also came back and he's and we don't want the new guys to outrun us now. <laughs> okay, we wanna keep up, we wanna keep up with Deacon Miller. We wanna keep up with Minister Cooper, amen. Uh, 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 my sister, my 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 my, uh, my biological, actually became a real sister, and she's stepping up and she's filling in the place. So she's gonna be praying on the fifth Sunday, and that's that's Sister Lalita, you know. And we Welcome thank God for her group, stepping in and stepping up. Thank you. You know, He's the glory. step up to the plate. <laughs> we want to thank God for for mm. what God did in in, in your life, sister. La la, the other la la, because there's two la la. Okay, <laughs> my sister's a la la, but we can't call her la la now. So we got two la la. And la la, I want to thank God for just keeping you and bringing you back to us safely. We know God is a keeping God. You know, I didn't know that you can suffer that thing afterwards. You know, what, 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 what they call it again? Dealer. Okay. Who? Pretty yeah. yeah. But we want to, we just want to thank God for you. You came back and in the midst of just having a baby and coming out of the hospital, that you stepped up and you did what, what God assigned you to do. I just want to say thank you. There's, there's, nothing, there's nothing that you do in this that goes overlooked. You know, Apostle. everybody, I want to thank you for doing what you do. Amen. Apostle, I um, I was had the opportunity to share with Lala uh, showing her uh, how special God made women. Man, uh, us men, we wouldn't be able to go through half of what they go through with, and these <laughs> women. Are so and and you know, even though uh, I when I find out what that preeclampsia was man and, and coming close to i even hate to say the word but 
God, God is awesome. And we're looking at her in yes, the eyes, in the eyes right now. <laughs> and, and God just made y'all something special, man. And, and I just want to say to all women and my mother as well, I hope she's still on, that y'all are special. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> I mean, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that God didn't do nothing special for us, but y'all are very special and y'all should never be abused and, uh, and misused. Amen. 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 With the ghost. Amen. I have and I have a, a prayer request, Apostle. Well, yeah. Um, Okay, I'm asking, I'm requesting prayer. I go into surgery tomorrow at Carl Gables Hospital. I have to be there at six in the morning. I'm going Wait from a the minute. How am, I just, how, yeah. how am I just hearing of this? Yeah, it just was decided. Uh -huh. um, it was like, I was just decided. Okay. Yeah, um, okay. I'll be having bariatric sleeve surgery uh, for the weight loss. So I'll be going in tomorrow. Very interesting. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So Anybody else got any prayer. prayer requests or praise reports? Okay. Uh, just, um, just continue to pray for me. At some knowing some though, I've been having a lot of problem with my left ear. On next month, on the fourteenth, I will be going. Oh, under surgery, they could be putting the tube in my ear. Okay. Zella's okay. had that. Yeah, I okay. know. Well, let's come in. Anybody else? Yes. Um, I, for those who know, don't know, I do take medication for my, my pain. And we're having trouble in the United States. Well, I know everyone that I know that has degenerative or some type of um, excruciating pain where the doctors have prescribed medications, we're not getting them. Mm. They're, they're not, and I need everybody praying because it, I, I don't think of myself, but what about the others who just come out of surgery? For people who, you know, sometimes pain can actually make you commit suicide. Yeah, mm -hmm. it make you feel like you really want to die yeah. because it don't stop. And and I don't pray just for myself, but I pray for other people as well because if you've never been in it, then you would never understand it. And there are people who really need it, and I need mine too. But I always think about everybody else. There are some people who can't even get out of bed. Yeah, you know, and, and I don't know what the government is doing, but they're not releasing our medication. Mm -hmm. As of, of Jan, uh, June the 1st, no one has gotten their medication. Wow. And now it is the 14th. I mm -hmm. don't know what we're supposed to do. And I just don't pray selfishly. I pray for others who really, really need this. Because others yeah. who have gotten it and they abused it, but what about <clears throat> us who really need it? Right. Hello. Wow. Amen. Hello. Can yes. you hear me? Yeah. Hey, cool. Hey, what's going on? Um, okay. We hear you, but we don't see you. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I see you. Oh, no. Yeah, I saw you. <laughs> You breaking up, brother? Yeah, we see you. We see you. Anissa. But please be in prayer for that. Amen. Okay. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I miss y'all. I love y'all. Um, I love like you too. Love you too. I mean, a, a praise report. Um, on Friday when Wait. we got to when we got to Tampa, I got news that my uncle in prison was. Um, really sick, and that he had like device divisionitis, something like that, which is pretty much holes in his intestines, and he wasn't doing too good. He was saying how um he was in so <coughs> pain and begging us to like get him some help and stuff like that, etc. But I pray. 
thing, it, it was the it was only God that let that happen as soon as I got in church to get that news. And then we all prayed, of course, that three D we prayed and then we prayed and then um yesterday I got news that he's feeling better and he didn't need to go to the hospital anymore. So I just wanted to God because I know that was him and him alone. Um my family knew of it before me. I just knew of it yesterday when they said it. And my cousin asked for prayer, and then I prayed. Well, we, we prayed, and God moved. So I wanted to give God praise for that. Amen. 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 So we thank God for what he's doing in, 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 in people's lives, that even as that we know of. So right now, we're going to come together, and let's just pray for some of these issues that we're facing here. We pray right now in the name of Jesus uh, that our Sister Lock go into her surgery tomorrow, that you will be there in the midst, Lord God. Yes. Father God, we pray beforehand that you will touch the hearts, touch the minds of those that's going to be in the midst of the operation, Lord God. We pray that it will be a success, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray that for all the people that's going to be uh, working on her body, Lord God, that they will have the right mind that they would have the right heart yes. and that they would be alert into what they're doing and that what they yes. do, that it would take place. We believe by faith that she mm, will come yes. out of this surgery uh, yes. all with, with, with flying colors, that she yes. will heal properly and that all will be well in her body as she continues yes. on her weight loss journey, that there'll be no hindrances to her mm. weight loss journey, that you will continually allow her to, to eat right and exercise and to do what's right, Lord God. Yes. And we thank you for what's going to take place right now in that. We bring up Sister Bradley right now. We bring up the fact that, that she's praying for not just herself, but she's praying for everybody that needs certain medication to ease the yes. pain, Lord God. And yes, Father Lord. God, we know that they are doing things in the government to, to bring changes to people. But Father God, they are hurting people in the process, Lord. Mm -hmm. So Father God, we by faith that they will release, Lord God, those much needed medications for the people yeah. that need it, Lord God, for the people yeah. that, that that abuse it, Lord God, that you may be a, a, a hindrance to them abusing it, Lord God. We pray for deliverance for those that are abusing the medication right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray yeah. for the hearts and the minds of the Food and Drug Administration and the pharmaceutical industry yeah. right now, Lord God. Yes. That they passion, Lord God, on the people that actually need this medication, Lord God. Yeah. And not just that, all medications. We've noticed a rise in the cost of medications and to the, the, the non-availability of different medications, Lord God. But Father God, we know that the, the, the plans of the enemy is to steal, to kill, and destroy. But we know that you have come, that we have life, and that we have a bullet. So right now we come up, we call to not all the plans of the enemy yes, concerning Lord. the children of God. Yes. Concerning yes. those that's connected to the children of God. In the yes. name of Jesus, we decree and we declare right now that those medications will be released. We decree the and we declare right me. now that the prices of will decrease. Yeah. Right now. We decree and we declare that they become more available to those that do need it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes, and we Lord. thank you, Lord God. We know that you are rapidly moving, God, Lord God. For those that, because you know, Lord God, that the pain that, that, that we all face, Lord God, in our bodies because of, of, of things that we've done, Lord God, to mess ourselves up. But Father God, we thank you for your grace. Yes. We thank you for your mercy, Lord God. Father yes, God, Lord. you said that you answer the prayer of your children. And we yes. believe by faith right now, Lord God. If you hear our prayer, that you ask our prayer. Pastor Dobson is having a thing done to his ear, Lord God. Father God, we believe in right now, by faith, Lord God, that you will touch the doctors and all those that's concerned, Lord God, that's going to be doing any kind of surgery, any kind of, 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 of procedure to him right now, Lord God. We pray, yes, Lord God, Lord. that you will put him in peace, letting him know, Lord God, that you go before him, that you even go before the doctors, you go before all of those, Lord God, that's going to be administering uh, uh, to his body right now in the name of Jesus. We believe yes, by Lord. faith, Lord God, that, that it will take root, Lord mm -hmm. God, that it will take healing. 
Yes. Father God, we believe by faith in Jesus. Before he go there, Lord God, Father God, that you began to remove the problem, Lord God, that you began to, 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 to bring healing to his body, Lord God. And Lord yes, God, yes. for all the others Lord God, that not have named, Lord God, we have various people that that that's suffering from different pains in their bodies, Lord God, different illnesses, Lord God. Father God, you told us that healing is the children's bread. Yes, and Lord. Lord God, we are your children, called by you. We believe by faith. You told us yes. that above all things that we would be in good health. Yes, for Lord God. So, Father, we believe yes. your word right now, Lord. That yes, we will Lord. be in good health, and that we will prosper even as we're not going to believe what we feel right now. We're not going to believe what we see here. We're not even going to believe what we think with our own uh, minds. Right? But we're going to believe what your words say above all things, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you right now. We pray for my wife, my family, and all of my family members that's traveling right now, Lord God, going to their destination, I'm returning home, some are heading north, Lord God. We pray that you will keep them safe. Lord God, that you are covered in right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we thank you right now. We pray, Lord God, that as we close out this session, Lord God, that we leave from each other's presence, but never from your presence, Lord God, that you will continually bind us together in unity, that you will continually bind us together in love, bind us together in peace, Lord God. Let us walk together in unity, Lord God. And we want to be careful, Lord God, that in all that we do, Lord God, we do it to give you praise, honor, and glory, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for being with us this day. We come against any backlash, any retaliation of the enemy concerning the family of 3D, Lord God, and each and every of his members, Lord God. And we decree and we declare that we are the heal. We are whole, Lord God. Nothing missing, nothing broken, Lord God. And Father, as we continually grow together uh, to you, Lord God, that we will continually grow together with each other, Lord God. Use us to bring glory to your kingdom, Lord God, like never before, Lord God. I thank you for each and every person represented in this ministry. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before, before everybody go, Amen. I just want to say good morning. It's so good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just want to say that I give God all the praise and all the glory, and I give him all the thanks. I also want to thank God for each and every one of you. Uh, I was listening. I was. It wasn't on. It was on mute, but I was listening. I thank God for the word because it's needed in the kingdom of God, not just in 3D ministry, but yeah. it is needed in the kingdom of God. Amen. That we all need to be in unity. To everybody that took part in the service today, I want to say to you all, I appreciate you all. Also, to the people who could not, I heard apostles giving thanks for everything. The people who could not make it but kept me lifted up in prayer, I want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And to those who were there with me, I want to say thank you as well. Uh, I just say that God has moved, that his presence was there, and the enemy was there too, but God was there too. And that God gets all the glory. Uh, a lot of things have happened, and it was good things. You know, and I just want to say to everybody, uh, thank you, thank you. It, it, and it's so important that when you travel and when you go to speak, that you have people in your corner, not just praying for you, but they're with you, because Amen. you come up against a lot of stuff, a lot mm -hmm. of stuff. So I just thank God, and and I just want to say thank you. I miss you all. Can I raise Shaheem, stop playing on this camera. Uh, I just want to say that I miss y'all and that God continues to bless you all. And uh, as I go into surgery tomorrow, we know that God will be with her. And as Pastor Dobson go into surgery, that God will be with him as well. And also, Sister Bradley Pay prayed and asked for prayer for pain. The people who need the medication, I pray that the doors would open up because it is true. Sometimes mm. people do commit suicide because they cannot take the pain anymore. Mm. because the pain is constant that's why they take the medication mm. but to everybody i just want to say whether you pray or whether you came or whether you send me a text of encouragement i just want to say thank you thank you so much mm -hmm. may god continue to bless you all 
May he continue to keep you all. May his face continue to shine upon you all. And may he give you all peace. Amen? Amen. Amen. Have a wonderful day. Amen. 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 Amen.